we sat there and we said, okay, so who do you think? Silence. It's like nobody could think of anyone. <laughs> and the reason that we couldn't think of him is because he never said a bad word about anyone. You immediately think of all the people who have. So, anyway, um, before we get to, uh, to some of uh, these other awards, uh, we had uh, three people so far uh, achieve their level one.
they went, went into the, the lion's den and they brought her over and she's, they said, okay, now come on, sweetie. Now we're gonna go on, on, the, uh, on the magic carpet. You know, our magic carpet, which, you know, it's a remnant from Woolworths or somewhere. And, and the kid, the kids, gets on, on the, and she says, oh, you know, I, I know what these are. I've seen these before. And she's standing there and she says, how come it's not moving? <laughs> because you're at Wildcat, kid. <laughs> These are two different sizes. Um, unfortunately, they took the tags off. But um, we had a couple of people this year that uh, that really helped out um, on my on my days off and on on Homer's days off and intermittently uh, throughout the, throughout the season. Um, Rick Ruppel is a great job. Sanibel Island, so how disappointed can she really be? <laughs> uh, this is the uh, Rookie of the Year Award. It's a, it's a nicely engraved uh, mug. It says Wildcat Mountain Snow Sports School 2011. It says Rookie of the Year, and it's for Courtney Croteau. I think it's a little unfair the way it's awarded. Uh, I know that this year uh, someone said, you know, gee, Casey Harrigan should get the award because the fall on Blue Ox and, and Dale was kind of like a helicopter in Vietnam being gunned down uh, and the rotor keeps spinning. <laughs> That's what it was like. Yeah, the, the, the one ski, the rotor kept spinning all the way down the mountain. And, uh, and she emerged from the cloud and, uh, and was intact. So somebody said, gee, she really should get the award. And somebody said, no, you can't get that. She's a veil. She's not a wildcat. 
I, I want to know how come I still got it <laughs> when I was at Breckenridge, which I don't think was internally entirely fair. I didn't want to get it by myself, Rich. That's what it was. I knew that's what it was. Because John Knight and I are a mutual recipients of this one. Lewis and I. <laughs> so, this year's award, and it never goes without a verse. That's right. <laughs> Ancient Romans, as all of you may know, gained honor by falling on their sword. But here in the land of ice and snow, we bestow the Egg Beater Award. The trophy is a thing of pure beauty, festooned with many names of renown. Baglioni, Brady, Blotner, and Bruni. The mountain had brought them all down. <laughs> Hanson and Homer and Bodges and Blaze. Two Roberts and Gilbert joined the wreck. <laughs> Chippendale and Knight, ah, uh, those were the days. And Russo in a tree well in Breck. <laughs> and now it is time for new honor. Time for another cautionary tale. A slide for life. Another near goner on the twisty middle catapult trail. The mountain was bright, white, and scenic. She felt free, fast, and formidable that day. She had left her A-frame in a clinic with Kathy Brennan and the PSIA. No. She shouted, her skis barely touching the snow, that she was transformed no one ever doubted, not Dexter, nor JK, nor Mo. <laughs> but we all know how the world goes, when you run out of luck, it's no fun, and bindings were not meant to hold toes when your speed has exceeded Mach 1. <laughs> Down she went, no skis left beneath her. One board never even stopped to linger. And before it disappeared round the corner, it turned to give her the finger. <laughs> I'll get you, you bastard, she cried. And although not the picture of Grace, on her butt she decided to slide. She simply would not abandon the chase. Ever the instructor, she quickly adjusted, edging alternate cheeks on each turn. <laughs> Over ice and snow that was crusted, God, her butt was beginning to burn. One cheek long, the other cheek shorter. <laughs> It was not an unpleasant sensation. <laughs> Amazingly, and in short order, she'd achieved the polygon of sustenation. <laughs> and if you looked at her tracks down the hillside, you could plainly see right from the start, through each turn, and no matter to which side, she had kept her cheeks the same distance apart. <laughs> bottom in a proud daze, pants around knees and seat soaking wet, helmet tilted and goggles slightly sideways, our heroine, Barbara Duquette. <laughs>
Nancy Gordon on the uh, cheeks. Of all of the ones I've ever written, the images in this one were crystal clear. <laughs> Okay, time for the extra foot. <laughs> Again, for those of you that are strangers and have just arrived here or have not been at Wildcat for 620 years like the rest of us. <laughs> George Poulin, God bless his heart, back in the days when he was, I don't know really what he was. Was he, he was something. He had an office. He was everything. He was, that's right. <laughs> I mean, geez, he fired Terrio. He had to be something. <laughs> <laughs> but we brought him back. <laughs> um, George, George had a way with language. Uh, one time he asked me, he said, would you redo the, uh, the manual? And, and I said, George, we don't have one. <laughs> That's what I mean, he said. <laughs> so redo the manual for the, for the ski school. So I did it, and uh, I had to incorporate something that had to do with injury and, you know, avoiding it. So I, I wrote it up, and he hand, and, oh, you know, an English teacher for 34 years, he hands it back to me, and it's got all these red marks all over it. And on, on one page, he's got this thing crossed out, and I, it, I had, you know, in case of fatal injury, and he said, I said, you have this underline, but there's nothing here, what do you mean? What should I do? He said, it should be fatal injury or death. <laughs> I said, George, fatal injury is death. He said, Are you sure? <laughs> That's George Poulin. Anyway, one of his great sayings. Um, was, uh, other than <laughs> when Tim ordered the, 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 the snacks for the seasonal thing, and he wanted chicken fingers, and it was, there was this big discussion of how many chicken fingers uh, they were going to give each kid. <laughs> and George said to Tim, I, I eat just one of those, and I'm full. <laughs> You had to see George to appreciate that. Six feet wide. It is a classic. He's still living in his mother's basement. <laughs> he can't get out. It's on the island in the middle of the Anderson's. Please. Yeah, who was it? Was it uh, Claude, Claude, Claude Lemel and Lemelin had the, the Poulonese flag. <laughs> with, with the Poulonese flag to bring it into the ski school. Um, and George always said that at Wildcat, we always go the extra foot. <laughs> Is it mild? <laughs> no, at Wildcat, we go the extra foot. And times have not changed. <laughs> We still go the extra foot. <laughs> Screw anyone that doesn't, you know, agree with that. <laughs> That's right. So anyway, I, I want to, the last four years, I just want to just recap for a second. In 2010, it was Jack DeVries, who was the only rookie ever to win the award. Ever. In 2009, it was Mike Meehan that won it. You still can't remember why. <laughs> in 2008, it was Althea. And in 2007, it was Brian Gilbert. Now, I just want you to think about those four people. I mean, there's you know four people who have done an enormous amount for our snow sports school over the years and still continue to do so. And I think... Um, you know, you, you might sit there and say, boy, you know, it's really hard to measure up. And you go back over the names here, you know, as, as Sandra Russo, Dexter Russ twice, uh, Bobby Fatterbunker. Bunker. <laughs> 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 All right, there goes that line of thought. Um, Ontario, Martha Like, uh, Timmy Gilbert, Bob, Robert Fopiano. So...
this year it's very different. Uh, again, we've, we've made a turn and we've done something very different with the award. Uh, we're not giving it to one person. Um, we're giving it to a whole family. We're giving it to the Callahan. Hey! Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks. 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 Thanks